my kombucha is finally done brewing today and so I am going to put it into the bottles to do the second fermentation. So ah, I'm so excited, it's gonna taste so good. I am going to be making lemon ginger raspberry flavoring for this round and then the next round I'm gonna do apple cinnamon. So we'll see how this works out. As you can see, there's lots of bubbles on the top of my kombucha. I don't know if it's supposed to look this way, but we're gonna burp it and see what happens. Oh my god. It is bubbling a lot. I definitely think that I got the right amount of carbonation. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, we're gonna do it to the second one. Oh god, it's gonna explode everywhere. It smells good, it smells like kombucha. Now the third one. Oh, I was like, that one's not as carbonated and then it started getting everywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna let it ferment for maybe another day and then I'm going to test it out. So I'm super excited to try it. Okay, it is final testing day for my kombucha and I've kind of left it in the fridge for a while now, so I don't know how good it's gonna taste, so I'm kind of nervous about drinking it, but this is what it looks like. It's got all the stuff floated to the bottom. It's kind of gross, and it's probably gonna explode everywhere because there's a lot of carbonation. Okay, I poured the kombucha into a glass because it was exploding everywhere. Okay, here goes nothing. It's not bad. It's not as carbonated as it seems it is. There's literally like no flavor. Well, it's supposed to be raspberry lemon, so I guess... It's just very tart. Very, very tart. Um, so, I guess if you guys want to try making your own, make sure you leave a comment down below and let me know how it tastes. Mine is a little tart for me. I like a little bit more fruity flavors, I guess. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. If you did, make sure you comment down below, leave a like, and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys on Wednesday with another video about my life. Bye!